Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel and thank you for checking out this video. For our video today, we are going to talk about the visibility graphics feature in Revit. But before we start, if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell and leave a comment down below. Thank you. So right now, we are going to use this sample model to play around using the visibility graphics. On our properties palette, you will see the visibility graphics here. So just to elaborate, if you haven't used the visibility graphics, this is a very important feature in Revit. This is where you can set what elements you want to be visible in your view. Click edit to open the dialog box or type VV. As you can see, we have the model categories annotation categories, analytical model categories, imported categories, filters, and work sets. So on model categories, these are the model elements that we can turn on and off, such as the walls, floors, doors, and many more. Then on the annotation categories, obviously, these are the annotation elements such as the text notes, room tags, grids, levels and more. The analytical model categories are more for structural analysis which we won't talk about for now. The imported categories are for those AutoCAD files that we link in the model. If you link an AutoCAD file, it will appear under here and you will also be able to turn off if you don't want to show in your view. For the filters, we won't discuss it for now. We believe that the filters require a separate tutorial due to the complexity of the functions. The work sets are basically a collection of elements that you can set that work similar to a layer. It can be set to hide or visible. So usually, the most used categories will be the model, in the annotation categories. So you can see that we have this sample model. So if you select any element in the model, it will give you the categories on the properties palette. So in this case, we selected the planting. For example, you want to turn off the planting. We go to the visibility graphics, under model categories, we look for the planting. Then uncheck. So you will see all the planting categories were hidden or turned off from this 3D view. So anything that you want to hide, you can select the element first to identify what is the category.
let's go to the plan view. So let's select these elements. It's a furniture. So on the model categories, let's uncheck the furniture. Then let's just do the same with the other elements. So now we go to the annotation categories. Let's uncheck the grid. Let's do that also to the other annotations. Then after that, we turn it back on. So let's just select all. Then check the category. So let's show how to duplicate a plan view. When we right click on the plan view, select duplicate view, then duplicate with detailing. So now we have a copy of level 1. Then let's show you a faster way to turn off all the annotations. On annotation categories, click all, then uncheck. Let's turn it back on. Let's show you another way to turn off. Let's go back to annotation categories, then on top, uncheck show annotation categories in this view. Then OK. So if we go back to the other copy of level 1, everything is still on. It's because the setting you apply on the visibility graphics is view specific. Meaning, it will only be applicable to the current view you are applying the visibility graphics settings. However, if anything you change on the model, for example you delete or move this counter, it will apply to the entire model and all the views. You can practice and play around the visibility graphics to explore the functions within the feature. It will help a lot with your plan presentation.
Alright, that's it for now. We hope that this tutorial has helped you guys to learn something new in Revit architecture. Please comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions of a tutorial that we should do. See you again in our next video. Thank you for watching.